Sabah everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you a process on how to unbrick our device. This be it a Honor device or a Huawei device. Uh, we're going to be using the service called Funky Huawei if you're not familiar with them. Uh, this is a supporting service that provides you access to original Huawei files to be able to unbrick or even rebrand your device and in some circumstances even provide you access to root. Uh, but the way what we're doing today is we're going to be unbricking an Honor View 10 that I've had the misfortune of soft bricking by installing the wrong files on it. So you're going to go through this process with me and we're going to get it back up and running in a few easy steps. Now, the first thing we want to do is you need to have an account with Funky Huawei. So go to HTTPS FunkyHuawei.club and then from there you have to basically set up an account and buy some credits. You need to have a minimum of seven credits on your account as we're going to be using five of those to be able to unbreak our device. Uh, and you can basically do many things. You can install updates that are not basically available on your device yet. Let's say you know there's an OTA coming in and you want to update your device to that but you haven't seen it yet. This will help you. You can rebrand your device if you want to change the region where the device is actually uh, marketed in and you can do that using the service and of course what we're going to be using today is the unbricking tool and unbricking is essentially bringing our device back to stock from a bad state meaning we flashed the bad file and we haven't been able to actually bring it back up and running by even wiping data uh, we're going to download the tool from here you do need to have at least seven credits and you need to download the funky huawei uh, the funky huawei unbrick flash tool definitely a very interesting name uh, from the device itself, you download that, install it on your PC and unzip it. And you're going to see a folder worth of applications and files. Uh, keep them ready on the side. And the next thing we need to do is we need to download the actual update.app file that's corresponding to our device. So we click the link. It's going to take us to this site. And uh, Chrome, of course, does a really good job of translating the site for me. And I'll give it a few seconds to kick in. And I'm going to say translate. And you'll see here update files and devices. Put in your model number and search. If you don't find your file, which is not a problem, first thing you want to do is go back to the main page and go to the ask us and submit a question to uh, the, the guys over at funky huawei and they'll provide you an email with the correct update.app file once you have those two 90 percent of the work is really done here on your device or on your pc unzip that update.app or if you open up the folder you'll notice there is an update.app within the zip file that they sent you and put it in in the same folder as the un uh, the unbreaking tool this is required because it's going to need it to be able to update that those are the files that are going to be push directly into your phone your phone needs to be as you guys could see here on the top right in bootloader mode which means you turn off your device if you can't restart the device and as it's restarting plug in your usb cable and hold the volume down key you should be able to see a screen similar to the one that you have right now or something to the fact that it says fast boot mode or even bootloader mode once you have this set, you're ready to go to be able to run this command. The last thing I want to mention to you guys, make sure when you're doing this, you are logged in to the Funky Huawei website on at least one tab of your browser. And you'll notice for me here, I am logged in. It's asking me to log out and you have those credits. Uh, next, we're going to just go ahead and just click the tool and then start it up. It's pretty simple from the sense of what it can do. Uh, it's going to unbreak our device. It's going to be using that update.app that I put in there. And we know it's correct one because we can verify that with Funky Huawei. And we're going to go ahead and say enter. And the first thing it does, it connects to the server using the connection that you have through your browser and validates that you have A, that you're logged into the account and B, enough credits. Uh, and once that's done, it's going to come back and say that you're ready and you're ready to proceed to the next step. Now you notice it did take a few seconds for it to come back. It recognized my account and I do have 26 credits left on the account. And then from there, all I need to do is hit enter. And it's going to go through this process. It's going to take approximately six to eight minutes, roughly 10 minutes to be able to go through this. But what it's doing, it's actually extracting all the files out of that update.app. And you notice there in the, in the right side here on the bottom right, you notice there's actually a new folder called work files. So all of those files are going to get extracted from here, put into that work file. And then once the extraction is done, it's going to go through, it's going to flash it once, every single file at a, one at a time. And then it's going to flash it one more time. This is the process that we need to get the device up and running and back to normal. So so I'm going to let this go through. This is going to, again, about six to eight minutes. And once it's done, we should be able to boot up onto our View 10 normally.
Uh, you'll notice right there it says finished uh, e-recovery high speed installation uh, to complete the unbricking. Uh, now you only need to do this if the device does not boot up normally. So from there on we're just going to say enter and that takes away the command prompt. Now that the unbricking is done, the device is again reset. This is as if you just opened it up for the first time out of the box. You can go through, you can go, and I'm gonna just say skip for now. Again, I'm not gonna set it up, uh, but the intention here is just to show you guys that it's pretty much just a standard device. I'm gonna say skip. Uh, I'm gonna go all the way down, say agree. Uh, I'm gonna say set up as a new device. Uh, sorry, set up as a new device, skip, okay, not now. And then skip. All of the stuff that we needed to normally do and again the device is back to normal unfortunately you just keep in mind all the information is already wiped uh, generally what you're doing here essentially is restoring the device to factory state it means everything that was on it is gone but it is running it there's no more issue the firmware problem that we were having or the software issue that i had before is no longer an issue i can go through and if it's locked i can unlock it one more time and go through and run it before if you did not have it unlocked and you had a problem like this it's going to keep you locked. There's not going to change anything in your device. But if you're unlocked and you need to install another firmware, you can start over again. Again, thank you very much to Funky Huawei for the unbreaking tool, to giving me access to it and providing me help getting me to the actual correct file for the View 10 to get this device unbricked so that I can actually install Lineage OS on this device and get it running again and, of course, getting root access on it. But Overall, very nice. Check the guys out. Uh, the link is in the description below to funkyhuawei.club. And it, all their information is valid original files that you're getting directly from them. These are just from different regions. They give a really good collection of stuff. And the service that they provide is reasonably priced. And I think from what they're providing you to unbreaking an entire like a $500 and $800 device, it's definitely worth it to get through the process. Like and subscribe as usual. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, I'm very happy for this to work because I need to start working on my Lineage OS installation on this device and get it up and running.